So hi everyone, this is Jassy Gay from the Achievement Squad, coming at you with a guide for Martha is Dead. This guide is a achievement walkthrough, this is not a full walkthrough of the game, as the game will take you roughly 8 hours to complete. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to get all of the missable achievements and the collectibles, photographs, that kind of stuff that you require for the full completion. At the time of the recording this video on the 24th of February 2022, one of the collectibles is currently bugged and that is the film with the ISO level of 400. So a big shout out to the guys over at Wired Productions for giving us early access to this game. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. Uh, I will warn you ahead though there are some moments in this game that are pretty graphic so it will be ready. Anyway, so let's get this show on the road. So the first achievement that we're going to grab is the Emperor achievement and this kicks off pretty much after the intro. You'll be by your sister who is in a coffin. And once you're in the area and you have control of Julia, you want to look to the left or to the right and you want to find an object that you can interact with in the room. So make your way over to something. Uh, I pick the oboe case on top of the piano. Hold down the right trigger, you'll engage with it and you'll bag yourself an achievement for engaging with this. On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. So our next achievement comes into play in the chapter The Room, which is just a little bit further on from where you just were. We want to get out of bed and we want to make our way over to the wardrobe that is entitled Martha. And we're going to open up and we are going to put on some of Martha's clothes. Like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. So we're going to go for our first collectible-ish kind of uh, item, and these are the diary pages. So once you're back in control, you want to make your way over to the bedroom door, and hanging up here, you're just going to find a bag. You want to pick that one up. Now to open up the bag, you want to press right bumper or R1 if you're on PlayStation, and we need to inspect the key that is contained. Key now this key will open up the little crate that is just behind us. Um, so once you're in, open it up, and we're going to get the diary out of the box just here. Um, and you're required to read both unread pages of the diary, and these pages will count towards the achievement later in the game. I'll be cutting those short, but make sure you listen to them all the way through. Disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. Okay, so next up is our first newspaper of the game. So you want to get down off the stairs after this little cutscene and directly ahead of you on the table next to breakfast is the newspaper. You do not need to read the entire newspaper, just the headline that is just there. Once you have done that, we're going to want to grab the camera off of the table that is just on the left hand side. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Okay, so once you have your camera, we are going to go take a picture. Now this achievement is not missable, but it is to help you understand how to take photos in the game. So as you're walking around in the area, you'll notice that there are some camera opportunities that pop above kind of things 
uh, you know, there's like a little traffic light kind of looking thing, which is actually the camera. Now to press Y to take out your camera and then you'll be able to use, press A to access it and uh, be able to set yourself up for the photograph. Now, the important part to bear in mind is that you need to make sure that the photograph has the right light, the right exposure and the right distance. When you've got that correct, it is set to pink on the left hand side. So in this one, I see uh, the outer focus is the problem. So for me to fix that, I need to press Y and then use the directional keypads to adjust the focus. Wait for the icon on the left to turn pink and then press right trigger to Taking take the, picture, the photo. The the that also bags us the achievement, the sun, but you cannot miss this because it is a mandatory requirement to take a photo Maybe for us to progress to forward. Journal, now, we need to go and fix our bicycle. Okay, so let's start making our way back to the house and just out the front of the house, to the left or the right, depending on where you're looking, is going to be your bike. bike You'll need to inspect the back tire to identify that it has a flat tire. Now we need to make our way into the building. Take a left and we want to follow the corridor down to the very end. You want to go past your sister and straight out the door on the other side. And as you come into this area here, you want to make a right and turn over to the bike. And then on these bikes over here, you'll find a det detachable bike pump. Once you have that, you want to return outside of the building. Once you're outside, you want to interact with the bike again, and then we want to use the on-screen prompts at the QuickTime events to pump that tire up. Once you've done this, you'll bag yourself the achievement called the Chariot. Now, the bike is quite helpful, but I barely use it throughout the uh, the game. It's not very efficient. It is a little bit buggy to use. Okay, so once our bike is fixed, I'm going to go after some scissors now. Now, these are not mandatory for uh, um, right now, but I grab them at this point in time because it's the most accessible. So we head into the house, we head left, and we go down the stairs into the basement area. Take a right as we walk in. You'll see a chair in the middle, and we want to grab the scissors from the uh, by the sewing machine just here. Once we've done that, we're going to look to our right, and we are going to see a dark room. So this is the place that we'll be developing our photographs in. Uh, and we're going to get ourselves the Hierophant achievement or trophy, depending on what platform you're on. Make your way into the room and you're automatically going to close the door. Walk forward to the machine. You want to hold down the right trigger to interact with it. And then you'll want to follow the on-screen instructions to make the uh, development happen. It's like doing the photograph. The important piece is to make sure all of the square icons on the right hand side turn pink uh, to make sure that it's successful. So this will be a case of adjusting the exposure and nine times out of ten you just need to pull the, um, the camera lens all the way down to the card level. So you want to pull it down and then we want to use the right trigger and the left trigger to make sure all of the circles in the middle are aligned. And then we want to press X to expose the picture to the card. Now once that's over, Martha is going to soak the picture into the tray. And then you'll want to press the X button when the little icon goes across the green part in the bottom left hand corner. Pull the pay, uh, picture out nice and early, uh, and that's to avoid losing the picture. Bad photograph. It seems that the camera works perfectly. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. Now there is an achievement in this game for getting 10 photos developed, sorry, five photos taken that are not related to the storyline and 10 that are linked to developing 10 photos that are not part of the storyline. So I'm gonna show you a couple of those opportunities. 
Now, one that is not missable uh, is the selfie one, which is done right outside of the uh, the dark room. So make sure you head that way and you engage with that one. Once it's over, you want to head back to the dark room and develop that photo. The is set up with the self timer. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. You can't see anything at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. A kind of ghost. That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used to photograph the dead. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me, but I have to do it secretly or they'll think I'm crazy. Yes, this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had this Okay, so we are now going to be at the start of the next chapter and we have some more diary pages to read. So press the right bumper, open up your diary and give it a quick read. Uh, just remember that if you have unread pages, it doesn't matter when you read them. This is just when they become available. Press right bumper and give them a read at any point in time. It'll put a little red icon if you've not read those as of recent. Okay, so now on to the next part. And we are now going to go after some more important stuff. So we're going to go after the camera flash. And when the camera flash is actually located upstairs, this is one of the key accessories we need. So make your way upstairs to the back and we're going to go up and we're going to take a left and we're going to enter the first door on the left, which is our parents room. On the right hand side, just directly beneath the stairs, you are going to see the flash on the table. You want to pick that one up. Here's the camera flash. Now I can photograph Martha even in the dark. Okay, so now we are going to head after our next kind of optional photo, uh, which is a picture of yourself and Martha. So not a picture of yourself, but a picture of Martha while she's still in the coffin. We need to make our way downstairs. Once you hit the bottom of the stairs, we're going to take a left. It's very dark, I do apologize. Continue straight down to the very end, and you're going to be in the room with Martha's coffin. Now you'll see the little icon pop up above her head, so grab a snap of Martha. It'd be nice to have you always by my side, even if it's just a picture. Okay, so now we're going to go after some more camera accessories. This time we're going for a infrared lens, some lenses, filters and that kind of stuff. So we want to make our way downstairs into the basement and we're going to take a left and go into the red room once we come into this area. Now once you're in the red room you want to look to your right and you're going to see an abundance of different things you need to grab. So there's a grand total of I think like about four or five things here 
Uh, you'll need to pick them all up. Of infrared film. They can photograph what the naked eye cannot see. With this lens, I can shoot very close up. Blue filter, ideal for indoor photos. Orange filter, when there is fog, it improves the image by giving it some contrast. Okay, so our next accessory that we're going for is a tripod. So exit out of the red room. And apologies for the backwards and forwards just here. So exit out of the red room you'll need to get your lighter out take a left and we're going to go down to the very end where we took our selfie earlier and the tripod is going to be available to you you'll want to pick that one up the tripod is necessary to take photos with long exposures I have found what I need to take infrared photos. Okay, so now it's time for our first infrared photo. So right next to the uh, the tripod is a set of barrels. Now these barrels, just in between them, you're gonna see this little icon pop up. It's gonna be like the photograph icon, but with a red mark on the top. So to take this picture, crack out your camera. Uh, and you'll need to make sure that you've got the accessories selected, the infrared lens and the tripod. So press the right bumper and that's going to bring up those options for you. You've got to press it twice, select the infrared lens, the flash and the tripod. And then we want to make sure that our camera is properly focused. And then if we increase the aperture and the exposure, that will give us a bit more light. Then make sure your image is properly focused and you want to grab a snapshot of what appears to be nothing. Okay, so once you have done that, we want to make our way back to the red room because we are going to develop that photo that was of nothing just to see what it actually is. So make your way back to the dark room. Okay, so at this point, make sure that you develop any of the undeveloped photos that you might have. Uh, but we have a particular interest in the photograph that is from between the barrels. Now, once you actually develop this photograph, it's going to reveal to you a secret message. That secret message is a key to finding out where the next secret message is. If you follow this trail, it's actually going to lead you to a set of achievements. Uh, along the way. So once this one is developed, you will see a message saying that it is uh, something to do with the light uh, and then we've got to go find the that situation. So develop up. I should have known that already. All I can do is head to the lake and get those rolls. What is this? A joke? Maybe someone wrote on the film? Also, what does that even mean? Light, like divine light? Something to do with religion, maybe? So finally, we're going to be outside in the dark and we're going to be looking for the infrared photo number two. We want to make our way to the right as we come out of the building, it's going to be dark out here. We're going to make our way down to the very end. And ahead of you, you're going to see a church. You'll remember it from a cutscene earlier where the bell was ringing. Keep going straight forward. And as you come up to kind of the back end of the church, you want to take a left and follow the garden wall around. And you'll see your next infrared photo opportunity. So set up your camera and grab the photograph of this 
secret hidden message and head back to develop it. Okay, so now we're progressing forward in the story by pressing the back button. You'll see that you've got a map, by the way, which is quite helpful. Uh, and we're on the main path that is going down towards the lake. We're just going to be by this fence here. And as we come into this area, we want to take a right and we want to keep staying on the right hand side because we're going to go after the achievement called the tower. So go up the slope just here, follow the track around and we're going to have to go a little bit off track once we get to the top. Walk straight forward and you're going to see a crushed kind of building with a gate in front of it and hang around here long enough you'll get the achievement called the tower. Okay so now we're still going on the main path and we're just in the middle as we're coming down the uh, to where we need to be. There's another optional photo along the way here that we're going to grab because it all counts to two of the achievements and it is a helmet that is sat on a log. So whip out the camera, grab the photograph. Uh, if you've been following along we're getting close to popping those achievements for optional photos now. German soldiers. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost a helmet? God only knows. And then there's another optional photo within this area. So once you hit the objective and you're down at the lake uh, and you follow the path to the end, you'll be collecting up the cameras. Now beside one of the cameras that you will pick up, you will find a piece of cloth you'll need to grab a photograph of this one. A shred of fabric here in the woods. How strange. Let's take a photo of it. One more camera to collect. Okay, so next up we are going after our next camera accessory and we're in the next chapter and this is some film. So exit out of your room and you want to take a right and go into your parents' room. Look at the desk underneath the stairs and you're going to see a piece of film that is just here. This is where you find all the different types of film. This one is ISO 25. Now in this chapter we unlock our divination card deck. Um, apologies for the dodgy waypoint but make your way upstairs in your parents room and you want to make your way across to the drawer that is on the left hand side and inside there you're going to find a pack of tarot cards you'll want to take these out and then we have to do divination once a day so press right bumper to take a look at the divination if you've not done it for that day there'll be a little red dot next to it and then you'll want to click on it You'll need to pick three cards, uh, and that's pretty much it. You'll need to do this a few times throughout the game. are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. But deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise?
the end of a relationship. It's very clear, but my plans will be successful. I only need to know what these plans are. Okay, so now for newspaper number two. So you want to turn around and from the divination cards, make your way downstairs. As you exit out of the room, take a right. Keep hanging a right as you go through the door that is directly ahead of you. And you want to make your way downstairs. And as the same place as last time, on the dining table, you will find newspaper number two. You do not need to read the full thing, just need to skim the headlines. The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces 1. Whoever is in possession of weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. 2. Whoever harbours bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. 3. Whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them will be shot. Okay, so now we need some more camera accessories. So starting from here, these are filters and lenses, by the way. Make our way into the corridor. Take a left and head down into the basement. Once you're in the basement, take a left and go into the dark room. You'll have to come part here as part of one of the main objectives. But on the right hand side, you are going to find more accessories. With this lens, everything gets bigger. Red filter for super high contrast photos. This lens increases the framed area. It allows me to fit more into the image. Okay, so whilst you're here, you're gonna to need to develop any of the photos that you've picked up. Be sure to be developing the infrared photo, so IR photo number two. Uh, that one is a requirement for us to progress forward with some of the achievements so it is the photo that we took beside the church outside a crossroad one path towards life and one towards death. More writing, how very strange. The path that leads to death. Could and this is going to give us our next cue, clue, clue for our next clue, uh, which is near the cemetery. So make sure that you put that one into your album and continue to develop any photos that you need to develop to get yourself the achievements for developing 10 photos. So now we're going to tackle a large chunk of the IR photos, the infrared photos. So we are just over by the gate on the way to the cemetery. Uh, that's now opened up as part of the main story. Now you'll be in this section just here. This is the bridge you'll have just come across. The house is on the other side. Uh, and you'll see these bushes just in front of you. So pop out your camera uh, and you want to set yourself up for an infrared photo and grab that snap. Once you've done that, make your way back to the house and develop that photo.
If you pass over a bridge with little dignity, turn immediately, the stone is there. Okay, are these riddles pointing to something? Like a treasure hunt? Let's try to solve it. So the next clue is referring to a broken bridge, which is down towards the lake. Now in this section, you'd be careful not to go towards the shooting, as it will progress you further forward in the story. Um, you can still get these later, it doesn't matter. Uh, but make your way down towards the lake, and you'll be at this kind of bridge just over here in the corner. Uh, the map doesn't zoom in very well, but it's the same path that you took down to get to the beach to pick up your cameras from earlier. And you'll see this photo opportunity just by the broken bridge. As you can see, there's not many landmarks I can give to show you where you are. Uh, but grab that snapshot and then make your way back to the house and develop that photo. The water splashes into the water. Easy, the stream that enters the lake. No, it can't be that easy. What else could it mean? All right, and now we are on to the IR photo number five. Uh, and this one is by a river and it's just off to the right of the house as you come into the woods. So you wanna zoom out and it's just over there. You'll find at this point where there is a waterfall next to a grave or a cross. You'll want to grab a snapshot of that waterfall area directly in front of you. Once again, go back and develop your photo. The last step between the bloodied flowers under the sign of obedience. The sign of obedience. If the light was the church, the sign of obedience... Okay, so at this point, I've progressed a little bit further forward in the story. Uh, and we are in the next chapter. Uh, and this is after getting shot. Make your way into the bathroom and you want to grab your bag that is just off the side here. And we're going to read our diary. Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced. Once that's over, it's time for a little bit more voodoo. So get out your divination cards and do another round of divination. I have 
have to see beyond appearances. There are those who betray me and speak ill of me, but someone will know how to give me the right advice. Okay, and once you've done that, we are going to trigger the first part of this trophy. We want to, called the Lover's Achievement Trophy, we want to read um, Lapo's letter that is in our bag, and that is going to set in motion a chain of events. You're going to get a telephone number that you need to remember, because we're going to call that telephone number in a bit to figure out why Lapo was carrying this. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly I can't run to you, even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number, 6934. He knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's ready... Okay, so now on to our next camera know. accessory. So this is another piece of film. This is the ISO 200. This is not the one that is missing. Uh, so make your way down the corridor. And as you come across to the right, you want to head into your parents' room. And in the same place as last time, you will find the film on the desk. Pick it up. When it's not too sunny outside, the 200 ISO film works well. And now for newspaper number three. So from here, we want to turn around and we're going to make our way downstairs. And the newspaper is in the same position as last time. So exit out of the door, take a right, open up the door and head down the stairs. Once you're at the bottom of the stairs, make your way across to the dining table and you will see the newspaper directly in front of you. Attempted murder in La Romola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl found by the German troops is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Now, after a bit of story progress, you will have had a phone call German with the nanny, and we are going to have a look at our diary because that's now been updated a little bit so once you've chat to the nanny press the right bumper and give your diary a quick read because it's going to have a bit more information no, and it's also going to guide you on how to progress through the nanny main story i must try to meet her Okay, so now we are going to kickstart our photographs again. So we're back towards the road by the cemetery uh, and we're over just by the old windmill. And directly ahead of you, you're going to see a cross next to the poppy field. So make your way forward and you want to grab a snapshot of the cross that is just directly in front of you. Once you have that, you will want to make your way back and develop the photo. You'll also bag yourself an achievement at this point in time for taking all optional infrared photos that give you the clues for finding other clues. Now this is going to set in a chain of events where you can get some more infrared photos, but you're actually going to be able to catch your pictures of the white lady. So head back and develop the photo.
the white lady. It's her. A ghost. I'm looking directly at her in a photo. This isn't a nightmare this time. It's, it's real. I mustn't ask any questions, as I'm not going to like the answers. This is her grave, but it's empty. Maybe I can find other traces of her. Of her past present. Okay, so now you don't necessarily need to develop these photos. I believe you can just take them. Our first one is on the outside of our own house. We want to look up to some windows just ahead of us on the left hand side of the building if you're exiting. Now you can't actually see these windows from inside the building, but you want to grab out your camera and you want to grab a snapshot of the lady in the top doorways. You'll need the infrared camera to be able to do that also. If you want to, at this point, you can go develop the photo. If not, skip ahead a little bit in our video. She hid herself away in this house, right where we are. She wanted to escape her destiny. The next photo opportunity of the white lady is by the tower. So make your way over to the tower, which is just here on the map, the place where we got the achievement earlier in the game. And we want to grab out our camera and grab a snapshot of this particular area and we're going to get another photograph of the white lady you can develop it if you choose if not just jump ahead in the video This was her house, I'm sure of it. Apparently for her, it was a place of suffering. Now, this one is in the woods still, and it's further down the main path. It's kind of by the first bridge that you would cross if you were going down to the lake. So once you reach this part here, we just want to take a minute and we're going to walk forward and you're going to see this stone but you're going to see the photo opportunity directly in front of you she is stood by this stone just here again obviously if you want to develop the photo go for it uh, if not just skip ahead to a few seconds in the video
She prayed while hiding in the woods, probably asking for forgiveness for sins she was so ashamed of. She couldn't go to her church and speak with her priest. And the last one is back over by the poppy field just area where you have the windmill. She is in the ground directly opposite in this mud just here. Uh, you want to grab out your camera and you want to grab a photograph of this one. I find this one a little bit strange when you develop it because she's just in the ground for some reason. Um, anyway, so grab that photo and that is the last photo opportunity for the white lady. That'll bag you also the achievement for taking all photographs of her and you'll get the achievement at this point in time. The white lady and her lover together. They loved one another in secret. Okay, so we are now going to go after the lover's achievement trophy. Probably the most long-winded one in the game. Uh, we want to start off by picking up the phone because now we have the ability to make phone calls. And we're going to dial the number 6934 and we're going to speak to a member of the resistance that was working with Lapo and he's going to give us some instructions. Whether you choose to share this information with your father or not will not affect the outcome of this achievement. It's entirely optional what you do. I should try again. Probably the wrong number. This number. Damn, Lapo must be dead then. Rest in peace, fair comrade. Yes, Lapo is dead. I am due. No, no, don't talk. We don't need to know who you are. By calling this number, it means Lapo wanted you to complete his work. A telephone cable near the house of German General Erich K has to be cut. One goes to the house, but there's another cable we suspect is connected to a secret base. That is the one that has to be cut. If you see any German vehicles around, let us know immediately. We won't use this number anymore. It's dangerous. Use a telegraph. That will be safer. I hope you know how to use them. Otherwise, you'll have to come up with something. This is important. Frequency X. Before the message, telegraph town on fire to identify yourself. Long live the homeland. Long live the liberation. Should I sabotage the cable and become a spy? I don't know. My father is German. It would be like betraying him even though he himself hates this war. But what happened to Lapo and those guys? If I can save someone's life, maybe I should try. Or maybe I can talk to Daddy about it. He may be able to advise me on what to do. I don't even know the first thing about all this. What were you thinking, Lapo? To cut the cable, I will need sharp scissors. Taylor scissors should be fine. 
Okay, so we're going to need to make sure we've got the scissors on us. If you haven't, head down into the basement and collect them from the right hand side. If you've got them already on you, great. You want to make your way out of the building and we're going to take a right and we're going to go down past the church where we took the infrared photograph earlier. Uh, and as you come to the end, you're going to see a telegraph pole. Once you reach that telegraph pole, climb up to the top and you want to look to the right until you eventually spot a tank. German tank. I have to report its location via the telegraph hidden near the cowshed. Daddy probably asked for a garrison after all that has happened. Now that you've spotted the I tank, you want to take out the scissors and snip the so wire, and that is going to shut off the down. communications so to the, right the appropriate forces. Once we've done that, we're going to then need to use Morse code or the telegraph machine to now communicate that to back to, to the, the right individuals, to the resistance group. Now, you'll need to make your way over to the barn where the animals are, because that's where we keep animals most days. Um, and we're going to find it in one of the feed bins near a motor. Just be careful you don't get stuck in the floor and the process. Now I'm going to give you your first ever Morse code lesson, potentially. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, but once you've popped open the feed bin, you're going to find the equipment on the inside. And we're going to need to select some text on the pad that is just in front of us. So we want to I pick to the words town the on fire. Tank on the road and the road so the town house. on fire, tank road like near that. house over. So look those up on the bit of paper in front of you, just to repeat again, town, on fire, tank, road, near, house. Now once you've entered that correctly, it is going to give you the ability to enter the Morse code. Um, and we just need to tap out the dots and the dashes. So once you've got the entire sentence spelt out, um, it will give you the option to send. You press X. You just tap A for a dot and then you hold A down for a dash and you just need to replicate what is written on the screen in front of you in sequence. Thank you. 
Okay, now the guy on the other side, or the person, sorry, is going to send you a long-winded message and we need to translate that back into human terminology. It's a little bit easier to translate than it is to send uh, when you're doing this in the beginning. So once that message has come through, we want to select the letters SN, SRV, DFS, LN, MPP, LSC, VCN, EDF, LNG, FIU, AR. So in effect that it is going to say they've received the message, they would like a photograph of the line map uh, and that needs to be placed by the building near the river. So the line map that they're referring to is in your parents' bedroom. So once you're done translating that, uh, we're going to make our way up to the parents' bedroom. But just copy what I've written on screen, as you can see down here, uh, and you'll get what you're looking for. Make your way back to your parents' room. Okay, so once you're in your parents' room, you want to grab the camera and go to your father's desk and you want to grab a snapshot of the map that is behind. So pop out the camera, take a quick photo, and this is going to give you the information you need to share back That's with the it. resistance members. The now the drop-off point for the photograph, so you'll need to head downstairs and develop it before you can actually do anything like that. Uh, but the drop-off point for the photograph is opposite where you grabbed the picture of the white lady as she's laying in the ground near to the poppy field. So head downstairs, develop your photograph. The print should be fine like this. We can see detail clearly. Once developed, exit out of the house. Exit out and take a right and we're going to follow this pathway to the end and cross over the bridge to the other side. Once you're at the other side, you want to interact with the door to place the map underneath it. And once you've done this, you need to return back to the telegraph machine by the barn that contains mm. the animals because that's Photos where we keep them.
Okay, so as we arrive near the machine, we are going to send out a, another message. This time it's a bit of a brief one on our end and we'll receive more stuff back from the uh, from the respondent. So in this scenario, we want to type in so town, to find the right words to on fire, oh, and photo, to remember the map, fire. positioned, over. So that was town, on fire, photo, map, positioned, over. Once you've done that, tap out the necessary Morse code for this one. So next up, we are going to receive a message back from the resistance and we need to spell out the message. So we want to pick, it's a very short message as well. So C-A-R-M, CARM, which stands for tank, LCL, located, and then K for over. So the message that they're spelling out is tank located over. So select those from the choices. They have worked out the position of the tank. I should confirm that I've understood their message with received. Now we're just going to need to respond with received over. And the next message that we receive translates into the following letter choices. So P, T, sorry, T R V A R M D P S T V C N B S C K, which translates into find weapon cache near the woods. So T R V A R M D P S T VCN BSC K. Weapons cash in the woods. Once you've done that, you'll want to respond back to them with okay. received Let's over. Let's respond received again. And then we are going to move into our next set of translation. So we are going to need to pick PZZ, BND, PL, LC, CLO, CMM, AR. So that's PZZ, BND, PL, LC, CLO, C-M-M-A-R and that is going to state place flag 
close to communications. Okay, so after I've been there, I will place a flag on the table. Now, once that's done, that is going to give us the clue for closing this out. So now we're going to have to go on a bit of a walk, and we need to make our way down to the lakefront. I'm going to cut the video short at this point because you probably know where the lake is at this point in time, and it does take a quite a while to get there. Okay, so now we're at the lake and we are by the boat, which is just over here on the map. So right at the other end, enter where you were just a moment ago. You want to hop into the boat and it is going to start up for you. You need to follow the quick time events on the screen. Uh, and we're going to float our boat down the left shore. And we're going to keep an eye out for a tunnel which is kind of hidden out of our standard eye line. So hop in the boat. You want to drive that bad boy forward and then you want to look to your left and you're going to keep your eye out for a tunnel on the left hand side. Now, as you come up into this section you're going to see there is an open grate and it's leading into some tunnels this is an underground communication network for the militia that is in this area now so hop out of the boat when you can and you're going to want to make your way into the tunnel and you want to keep following it until you hit a very large room full of um nazi symbols and that Isn't kind of stuff swastikas and that kind of thing there's been a whole world underneath us this whole time When was this place built? I didn't know it even existed. Now once you reach this section, we want to make our way out. And as we're going through these corridors, effectively we want to keep to the left hand side. So we're trying to find a flag, uh, but if you keep following the corridor, turning left as every opportunity you get, eventually you're going to find this room just here and just underneath the clock you're going to see the flag that you are looking for which has got the swa sticker on it. Pick that flag up. Um, once you have that flag we're going to need to continue down through the same corridor uh, as we are going to exit out of these tunnels. I have to open this gate. Now once you reach the section just here, we're going to knock out the pipe bar that is just here and that's going to allow us to exit out and we're going to be in the woods again. So hey, take a left and that is going to lead you back to the house. Uh, we need to head back to the telegraph pole where we cut the wire off earlier. So follow it back to the house uh, and I'm going to cut this short because it's quite an obvious path now. Okay, so now we are back at the house. We're going to want to make our way back towards the church. So as you get over towards the church, we're going to want to climb up the telegraph pole one last time. Once you're at the top of the telegraph pole, hang up your flag and that is going to bag you the achievement or the trophy called the Lovers. This one is now finally over.
have done everything they ask of me. That's the end of it. That's the end of it. I hope I made the right choice. Okay, so now we're going to grab some telephone numbers. Now, telephone numbers are important for the uh, one of the last achievements you'll get in the game called The Fool, which is for phoning up every possible phone number in the game uh, and exhausting the conversations that you can get. So take note of these telephone numbers. You want to probably write them down or something like that, uh, but most of them are written down by next to the, the main house phones. Some of them aren't. So this one is the number for the cemetery. Once we have that one, we want to head back in and go up to our dad's room and just take note of the phone number that is on the desk just there. Julia Kay has died. Resident of Villa Perchabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February, 1923, the daughter of General Erich Kay and Irene Kay Don Attilio D. will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M., who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola. Telephone number 6537. The official state civil service. General Galeazzo T. I hate bullying, yet it seemed as if the raven wanted to bring the little bird back to life. General Edith K. New rules on curfew and women's behaviour. German command of S. Vincenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. Maybe only so it can kill it again. Okay, so we're at the start of the next day and uh, we have another divination opportunity upon us. So at the start of this point in time where you've just had a conversation with your dad um, and they find out who you really are, you'll get the opportunity to do a bit of divination right now. I will succeed in the end. I'm going to enjoy what I deserve. But uncertainty and resistance to change are making my life very difficult. Okay, so also at this point we are going to grab our next infrared photo. This is number 11. It's technically not missable because it's part of the story, but I'm just showing you it anyway. So it's just located at the top of the map here and we're by the graveyard and we need to grab a snapshot of this gravestone just here. And that is going to reveal some information about the white lady for us. Once you've got that, make sure you go back and develop it to allow you to progress forward with the story.
the yellow filter. If it were to snow, it would be perfect. The green filter, useful for landscapes. What? A ghost? Isn't that what I was hoping to see? So why am I so surprised? Because ghosts shouldn't exist, that's why. But here it is, plain to see. The spirit is a prisoner residing over the grave that I've been searching for. Just like the White Lady, he is trapped in this world, but they can no longer join together. Evil has separated them. I'm starting to believe that the Lady isn't just a legend. And that scares me a little. Okay, so now we are on a, another brand new day. So that means more divination opportunities. So make sure you shuffle up your deck and grab out your cards. This is the last one of the game. So you're going to bag yourself the achievement for performing all divination. I mustn't care about what people think. or fear will prevent me from facing the music. It will be very difficult to recover from the mental collapse. Destiny is inevitable. The end waits for us. So next up we have more diary entries also to go ahead with that um, to, to join forces here. So you want to open up your diary and we'll want to uh, give that a quick read and that is also going to bag ourselves an achievement for reading all of the pages within the diary. If you actually haven't read any of the pirate <laughs> diary pages at this point you can read them all now and you'll still get the achievement. Okay, and so for our next camera accessory, which is supposed to be the ISO 400 film, uh, but for me, it does not spawn in anymore. During my practice runs, it was there. However, it wasn't in my recording run, which is highly irritating. It must have been part of the recent patch, but it should be on the desk just here. You should be able to grab ISO 400, which is a high grain uh, film for, <coughs> for certain areas. Okay, so now we are going to go after the, and apologies for the dodgy cut because I was going crazy with that last collectible, um, but we're going to go after newspaper four. So this is outside of your parents' bedroom, so you want to make your way out, take a right and we want to head down the stairs and it's going to be on the table just ahead of us as per usual and you're going to bag yourself the achievement for the reading of all the newspapers, which is the star achievement. The New Zealanders conquer Tavernelli in the eastern sector of the battlefront. The troops of the 2nd New Zealand Division, British 8th Corps, conquer Tavernelli. The 6th South African Armoured Division advances on the heights near Grev, conquering the peaks of the Domini and Philly Mountains. The 4th Division reaches San Giovanni, Next up, there is a, another telephone number called the Telegram, which is the letter. 
We need to pick this one up because it's going to trigger a side mission called the telephone, which is required to get the full achievement. So pick up the card that has been just dropped in your post box that is going to trigger um, the ability to call different numbers. And that is something we'll be acting upon shortly. So grab that one out. Dear Mrs. Irene K, following your call, we have received a telegram from Dr. D. Your request has been accepted. As soon as the police station issues authorization, we will send for the girl. While we wait, to avoid the girl taking any extreme actions, as per the fears you have expressed, we ask that you trust in the advice of her treating physician. I thank you for your generous and charitable donation to our institution. Director S. Volterra Psychiatric Hospital. Telephone 0782. Now that she has discovered everything, she wants to lock me up in an asylum. Or maybe even worse, she wants to kill me and have everyone believe it was suicide. She is preparing all the finer details. Okay, uh, and once we have that one, we're going to make our way over to the phone. As you can see, it's going to prompt us to call all of these different numbers that we've got listed just here. And our goal is to extract information from these individuals. So as you make each phone call, just follow the prompts that I enter on the screen. And that is going to get you a part of the achievement done. You won't be able to do it completely just yet because we need to find one more telephone number. And we also can only obtain one of those towards the end of the game. So ring through on these numbers because this will be your last chance to do it on this chapter uh, and hold those discussions with those individuals. Hi, I was hoping to hear whether there has been any development on the investigation into the murder of Julia Kay. Wait a moment, please. Who's calling? I am Irene Kay, Julia Kay's mother. Mrs Kay, forgive me. I didn't recognise your voice. Unfortunately, I don't have any real news. We are following up on some suspects. We assume we're with the boy who was killed in the woods outside your house. They seem to be planning something else. But your husband is probably the best person to ask about that. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, madam. Father, you must bring justice for Lapo. You know it wasn't really him who killed Martha. I know that it wasn't Lapo, and your father already knows this. Believe me, but I can't do anything. These are dark times, my dear girl. Come to see me soon, and we will talk about it. Doctor's surgery. How may I help? Hello, it's Julia Kay. Please wait a moment. Doctor, it's that strange girl, Irene's daughter. Hi, Julia. Yes, it's me, Doctor. It's Julia. Excuse me for. Don't worry, Julia. You needn't be ashamed. How are you? Any chest pain? 
I'm okay, Doctor. The pain is almost gone. But Mother seems to be getting ill again. I mean, in the head, basically. I saw that she is taking that medicine again. Pervitin, I think. Irene is very shaken by everything that's happening, but I don't think there is any need to worry. I saw her recently, and she's doing well, all things considered. Pervitin was made illegal in Italy a few years ago now, so I wouldn't have prescribed it to her. But they say that it is still used in the army. Maybe they could give you some information at the German command. I must go now, Julia. I will come to see you soon. I don't have the German command's number, but I'm sure it won't be hard to find amongst father's things. Perhaps in his study? General Edith K. New Rules on Curfew and Women's Behaviour. German Command of S. Vincenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. Command of San Vincenzo Atori, identify yourself. It's Irene K, wife of General Eric K. I need some information concerning Pervitin. Oh, please wait a moment. What is it, Mrs. K? Would you like us to send you more Pervitin via your husband? I wouldn't know, madam. We give it to the soldiers, and they are very satisfied with it. The guys carry out night watches far more effectively. They also manage their hunger better and are far more active. We have, however, seen a few signs of anxiety and cardiac arrhythmia, but only a few. We think these are unrelated to the use of the drug, though. Psychiatric Hospital, how may I help you? Hello, we recently requested the admission of Julia Kay to the hospital. I just wanted to know whether it would be possible to cancel the request. I'm sorry, but the request was issued by the municipality where you reside, madam. Any revocation of the request should be passed by them. Only they can decide whether to approve of the cancellation or not. Have you already received the telegram confirming that we have taken charge of the request? No, I haven't received any telegram. Then you must hurry. If you go to the town hall and discuss the issue with them, they can approve the cancellation. Thank you. Goodbye, madam. Cassiano Town Hall Reception. With whom are you hoping to speak to? 
I would like information regarding a request for admission to Volterra Hospital. Please hold the line, madam. Uh, yes, hello? I would like some information regarding the request for admission of Julia Kay, my daughter, to Volterra Hospital. Yes, madam. The hospital confirmed recently that it will be sending its own staff to your house uh, for the uh, admission. The matter is no longer in our hands. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Hello, it's Julia Kay, Erika Kay's daughter. Yeah? Yeah, and wh what do you want from me? I'm sorry to disturb you. I just wanted to know if I can come over to see you later today or tomorrow. Of course not. Do not come looking for me anymore. Stop bothering me, you bitch. He must be going crazy. I don't believe for one second that Mummy would let him treat her this way. Okay, so now that we have progressed a bit further forward in the story, we're going to grab the last telephone number we're looking for. Your mother's going to be asleep on the chair in front of you. You'll be able to grab this document before at this point in time, but this is the point where I grabbed it. It's going to give you the number for the haberdashery. So read the letter. White linen fabric, four meters of green satin, delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of Mummy's, or could the nanny have left it here? Now at this point, do not progress forward with the story. Go upstairs and give the phone number a call and have a discussion with the person at the haberdashery following the on-screen prompts that you'll see from my end. Hello, Maria. It's Anna L., a close friend of Irene K. Oh, yes. Irene spoke about you. How can I help? Irene is making a dress for me, so I wanted to know whether she bought that beautiful and vibrant red and black fabric. I assume so. I am sorry, madam, but I cannot give you that kind of information. Irene is a loyal customer, you see. I understand perfectly, Maria. I'm only asking as I wanted to order a few meters of it for myself, without it any feeling that she needs to sacrifice hers for me. I'm sorry, Miss Anna, but unfortunately... Now, for something that's really strange, we're going to grab an achievement called Justice, which is for using all of the camera accessories. Now, by all means, that you would believe that this is not possible at this point in time because you've not found them all because the one is missing from the desk. Um, however you can actually still get it. So I'm just downstairs in the basement playing around with the camera. I was just trying to see if I could get it to work. All you need to do is open up the accessories pane and you need to go through, select the accessory, take a photograph, and then switch to the next accessory. Keep doing this and eventually you'll pop yourself the justice achievement, even when you don't have all of the 15 different accessories you require for the camera. That makes no sense. 
Anyway, so for the final part to the fall achievement, you'll need to progress forward until you hit the point uh, where, where Martha, sorry, where Julia will declare that she needs to speak to Don Attilio. So as you can see here, I demonstrate to you in my achievement list. I, for some reason, have the achievement for taking all the photos with all of the different camera accessories, but I don't actually have all of the camera accessories. So that makes no sense to me. I don't know whether that's because I've played through the game a couple of times trying to find all of this stuff. Nonetheless, you can still get it sooner than you should be able to. Okay, so the progression now, we're gonna be after the puppet show. And we are going to be needing to call Don Attilio, so the vicar, um, to make your way into the corridor just down the end. It's part of the story. You cannot miss this. And you'll follow the prompts. He'll ask you to come down to the village and go to the church. And if you've been following along, this is going to bag you the full achievement. I've been dressed again from the Achievement Squad. If you find this guide useful, drop us a like, comment, subscribe, and happy hunting. Father, help me. They're all dead. Daddy, Mummy, everyone. Julia, come to me immediately. Don't stay alone. It's dangerous. Come to town. You can stay here with me and we can talk about everything. Okay? Okay, Father, but first I want to play with my puppets for a while. Julia. 